friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C Zook Stitch, and today is Sunday, December 27th, 2020. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I have my new ring light that I got for Christmas up, and you can kind of see it in my glasses right there. See? See? Um, so hopefully that won't be too distracting, but I do need to read the titles because this is going to be a chart dive. I did a live uh, chart dive last night. It was super fun. Um, there was a lot of interaction, but I also said that for those of you who don't like live events or re-watching live events, because there is a lot of interaction, um, I'm filming this as just a straight, regular uh, YouTube video chart dive. So we're going to go through all the charts, so you might want to, one, get a beverage of your choice handy, and get a uh, piece of paper and a pen to take some notes on. Um, and let me know what um, what I enabled you, what what you added to your wish list. Simon is here. He's going to help me out, um, and we'll jump right into it. Um, so the ones I'm going to start with are, are kind of the newer ones. So some of these, I'm looking at a pile I have right here. I have kitted up ready to start um, that I was supposed to start in December or will be starting in January. Uh, so they are kitted up and ready to go. They just haven't been started yet, so they aren't considered whips for me because I haven't started anything on them. Uh, but let's go. And I also got some new charts for Christmas, so you'll be able to see those as well before I do um, my regular floss tube update on January 1st. So we have a lot of Garon Toten bags. Almost all of them I think that I'm going to show you, except for one or two, are Garon Toten bags. So in this bag, um, you'll remember if you watched my... Um, latest World of Cross Stitching flip through. This was a freebie, was a Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit calendar. And there's six charts in here and you can see all six charts on the front here. Those are the six charts that you get. And I have it kitted up because I'm going to start it in January. I'm going to start, which one, which one? Um, hold, hold on, let me find which one. Okay, so the rabbit, this one. Right here, I'm gonna start, whoops, whoops, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna start that in January. So I have that kitted up and ready to go. And I'm starting this for our um, Magazine Monthly Challenge group. If you're not in that, you can join us on Facebook. We're doing a January bingo. We're calling it bring, Bringo because January is cold here in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so this is going to be one of the um, charts. That I'm going to be starting, but they're all six charts are in here, and I do plan on doing all six of them at some point. You're just kind of in the way, Simon. Kind of in the way. All right. So, another one I have kitted up here. This one is a magazine. I'm not going to obviously go through all my magazine starts, just the few that I have kitted up and ready to go. But I did want to show this one um, because it is something that I plan to start, well, um, next month. So this is uh, Stony Creek Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the Autumn 2020 edition, so it should still be available. And I'll be starting, again, this is for the um, the challenge, the Bur Burringo. This is Glory to the Newborn King. And I think it's gorgeous. And I have this all kitted up and ready to start. Just need to take the time to get a little more organized. I mean, I have my threads. I guess I don't have my fabric, so I have to pick up my fabric. But I should have something in my stash that will work for that. This um, Garon Toten bag has three different charts in it that I have kitted up and mostly ready to go. I just haven't started any of them, and I'm not sure when I'm going to start. But these are all Victoria Sampler. So this first one is the Heirloom Nativity Sampler. And this one I saw Stitchy Mommy work on, and so I really, really loved it. And there is Hardanger down here at the bottom. And I don't think I'm going to do Hardanger. I'm going to replace it with some specialty stitches. I've never tried to Hardanger, and I'm going to try it on a piece in February, but it just makes me nervous cutting um, the fabric after I've stitched it all. The other one is Carol, Sing Carol Singer's Sampler. And I just love, I just love the little scenes and more hard dinger. And this one, I think it's really pretty. 
And then the last one I have is called Winter Holiday Sampler. Again, they're just, I love that ice skating scene there. They're just all little scenes. This one does not have hard hanger at the bottom. You can see it's just stitches. So I have three of those. I have the fabric. I have most of the floss. I got the floss kits off of 123 Stitch. Um, you can certainly use DMC. It'd be a lot less expensive. Um, but these are really special pieces. So I wanted to invest in the silks for that one. This Garon win uh, winter Halloween bag. This is one I was going to start in December, but uh, the fabric never came in. And this is from Just Cross Stitch. This is the uh, September, October 2011 issue. And the piece is Peekaboo by Tempting Tangles Designs. This one, um, they do sell, Tempting Tangles does sell this as a PDF on their website. So if you are interested in this particular um, pattern or chart, um, you can get it on their website as a PDF. I think it's very, very cute. So I do have that. The fabric um, has come in since then, um, but I probably won't start it now until closer to next October. But it is ready to go whenever I am ready to start it. Okay, so now I want to go through a few new charts. I'm just looking for one more. Um, new charts that I got for Christmas, and I can't find one of them. It's in this pile somewhere, but um, my friend Sam got me this one for Christmas. It's a Teresa Kogut called Work of Heart, and it's Santa and a snowman put decorating a tree. I think it's so cute. So, so cute. Um, and we got this directly. That's Simon talking in the background. We got this directly from um, Teresa Kogut's um, Etsy shop. And I got two, well, three kits. I can't find the other kit right now. Um, but um, I got this Dimensions Gold kit for Christmas. This was just on Amazon, my Amazon wish list. Isn't that a beautiful scene? It's full coverage. And it's a kit, so it comes with everything you need, the floss, the, the fabric, everything you need. I think it's so pretty. It'll take a lot of work, but it's so pretty. And then I also got this one. I think this is gorgeous. My niece got this one for me. It's the same thing. It's a gold, uh, Dimensions Gold Collection Kit called Fall Fairy. I think she's just gorgeous. And again, it comes with everything you need. Um, and then I'll show you the other one when I... Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> it was just hiding. Um, this is another one I got for Christmas. And I did get the fabric and the floss for it as well, but the chart is called Into the Garden Softly. It's by October House Fiber Arts. And it's this beautiful little fence. I think it's just so sweet. It's a perfect spring piece. So my friend got me that and um, we are all ready. Um, we are ready to go for that one when, it, when the spirit strikes me. <laughs> Hopefully this spring. Okay, I bought this earlier um, this year directly from Bothy Threads in the UK. This is 12 Days of Christmas. Each, um, each square is pretty small. I think it says about an inch or so, maybe a little bigger than an inch. I can't remember what it says. Um, but this comes as a kit. All the floss, the metallics, needles that you need, all of that is in here. I, oh, it does have the fabric. It's a 14 count Ada. There's cotton, pearl, metallic gold, beads, and sequins. I meant to start this one in November, but of course life got really busy. So we'll start that at some point. This one is fully kitted, I think. Yeah, it's fully kitted. It's, called, it's by Heartstring Samplery. It's called Once Upon a Summer, and it is a needle roll. So that's the stitching piece right down here. And then you make it into like a little needle roll, which I like a lot. So I got that. 
This one my aunt bought for me uh, from Stitchville, USA. This is a Nora Corbett. This is Christmas Tree 2010. Look at that beautiful tree. And this came as a kit. It came with the floss and the beads, and we bought the fabric for it as well. I just love it. Um, I haven't started it yet, obviously. But here's the fabric. This is a it's called it's a 32 count linen called Ocean Kiss. And it's a beautiful gray. And it looks very similar. It might even be the call for it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. This one I'm gonna show you is in the Ultimate Cross Stitch Christmas 2018 magazine. And I'm showing it to you because I'll be starting this one in January for the magazine monthly challenge. Just there'll be um, my January theme piece, I believe. So this is called Winter Cottage, and it's designed by Leslie Tier. And I just think it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I wanted to make sure I showed you that one. I won't go through the whole magazine, of course. Okay, this next one that's kitted up. These are, um, I bought these on Etsy. Um, as PDF patterns and the Etsy designer is called X Stitch On and there they are there's the name there's the Etsy shop X Stitch On um and I have three cats and I'm going to eventually stitch them all on the same piece of fabric because I think they're really pretty and my cat is currently sitting can I have that he's standing on the pattern thank you and then this is the third one so I thought it'd be cute to have all three somehow on um, one piece of fabric. Again, that's X Stitch On on Etsy. Okay, he is currently standing on my pile. It's a good thing he's cute. Okay, let's see if we can pull something out. So this next one is another PDF. I'm not showing all my PDFs, just the ones. I don't have a ton of PDFs. But I am going to show you the ones I have printed out, essentially. So this is by Tiny Modernist. I bought this a couple years ago. And this is 12 Days of Christmas as well. Which is very cute and pretty. Now that I have the Bothy Threads kit, I'm not 100% sure if I'll do this one. We'll see. This one I bought as a PDF, but it, then it also appeared in the magazine. Hi. Uh, one of the magazines, and I, of course, can't remember now, but Stitching Mommy did this. Um, it's a Shannon Christine design, so you can get just the PDF from Shannon Christine Design uh, on online, and it's called Winter Queen. Um, Sarah, Stitching Mommy, um, stitched this for her daughter, and I think it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I had this one kitted up, but I de-kitted it, so I'm just not sure if I'm going to get to it or not. Okay, next up is our Country Cottage Needleworks um, Glitter Houses, and I'm going to be starting this on January 1st, so if you have this, starting it with my friends Robin and Andrea, so if you have this even partially started, um, go ahead and um, we'd love for you to join us in our sale. Um, so this is Glitter House 1, which I'll start with, but you've seen these um, I have them all, and I'm going to put them all on one piece of fabric, uh, three by three, I think, because I think there's nine of them. I like that one a lot. I just love the colors. So that is Glitter Houses by Country Cottage Needleworks. We have the whole set. Okay. This one I got as a kit. I bought it off of uh, one of the stash unload pages. This is a gold collection petite and it's called Candlelit Noel. I thought it was really pretty and it comes with everything you need. It's a navy um, cotton thread, gold metallic thread, charms, shimmer ribbon, and 18 count navy Eda. So I think that will be really pretty to do. This next one I blame my friend Robin for. It's a set of 
four. You can buy them individually, but I bought all four of them because I want to do all four on the same piece of fabric. So these are Mill Hill kits. Um, they're little birds with um, little winter mugs. So this is called, this one is called Peppermint Tweet. It's the winter cheer collection. And again, because they're Mill Hill kits, they come with the beads, the needles, and the thread, and the perforated paper. But I won't be using the perforated paper for this one. I'll just, I, I haven't figured out. I'll probably do it on white Ada or something, um, or, or even weave, and then put it on a background that's really bright blue or bright um, fluorescent uh, green um, that kind of matches what they have here. This one is called Warm and Wise. This, oh, my pile is getting too big here. This one's called Marshmallow Sweet. I just love these colors. I love the blue and the green together. And then this one is called Frosty Mug. So I don't know when I'll start that one, but I wanted to get them. So I have them in my stash to work on at some point. Ooh, ooh, everything's falling, you guys. <laughs> okay. Now, I did do some shopping on the Stash Unload pages um, earlier, like late summer, early fall. So this is one I got from Stash Unload. It is called, I need to move this. Okay, it's called Be Thankful, and it's by Diane Ar Ar Arthurs. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to move our little friend here, and I will be right back. Let's try this again. So this is called Be Thankful by Diane Arthurs. And what I think, I really love this basket with the pumpkin and the little berry twig. So I will probably just do that and not do the whole thing. Like that. This is another Diane Arthurs. This is called The Lord's Blessing. And it says, give thanks. I really like this. Yes. Again, that was Stash Unload, or one of the Stash Unload pages. This is Elizabeth's design. It's called Haunted House. And I really like this one because they're very simple. Um, and they're not spooky. So there's one that says Happy Halloween. I love this little, this is supposed to be the Haunted House. But it's not spooky at all. It's just cute. It's just cute. And then this one that says Harvest Blessing, which I think is also very, very sweet. So I like all three of those. This one I got on Stash Unload, and this is by Thea Gouverneur. This is the jellies. I was hungry when I bought this, and I was actually eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this particular jelly. Um, on the stat on the live last night, I was told that um, this is a kit, and I was told that their margins. Hold on, I have to see. Excuse me. Um, I was told on the live that you have to be really careful with the margins on the fabric because they are not very generous. So if you are doing a kit by her, um, you just want to make sure that you double check the fabric. Okay. Um, Stony Creek collection. Um, this is another stash unload. This is book 239. That's all it's called. And it's called family blessings. And it's basically a family tree, which is why I got it. I would love to stitch a family tree. Um, so all these different options are in this booklet. So you can kind of decide. The one I'm most drawn to is this one on the front that just says our family, and it's just a basic family tree. Someone sent me this one, and I usually put a sticky note to tell me who sent it to me so I can remember. So I apologize if it was you, and I, I don't remember. This is Glory B, and it says Happy Halloween. I thought that was so cute. So I have that in my stash. This one is by Debbie Mum. It's a Mill Hill. It's called Spooky Town. It's another one that somebody sent me, and I, I'm so sorry. I didn't write down who it was. But I really think it's cute. And, like, each of these um, critters, monsters, are done on separate um, fabric or perforated paper and um, attached on. So it's almost like it's a 3D effect. So I thought that was really unique. So I would like to do that someday. My friend Robin sent me this. Um, it's called Pumpkin Swirls. It's by Moon Pie Madness. And it looks like this. 
and it has everything in it. Okay, so this next one is, my parents got me this, um, I think a couple Christmases ago, but I haven't stitched it yet, called Waxy Moon Designs Search the Sky. It says, may you, may you never be too grown up to search the sky on Christmas Eve. I just love that sentiment. And I have it all kitted up and ready to go. I have most of the floss, I have a few I need to get, and the fabric, so. That one can be started. I don't know why I have it, because I really do like it. Okay, so this next one I bought, it's a Judith Kirby um, Victorian's house. So I have house number nine and house 15. And I'm going to stitch them together on one piece. Um, now, the only place where you can get these, um, you can get them on eBay. Um, they are very, very expensive. Um, the only place other than eBay, which will probably be selling the, the original, but the only place that is licensed to sell Judith Kirby's design is called Stitch in Time. They're a shop in Saginaw, Michigan. And here's their phone number if you would like to purchase these. Um, they were wonderful. They do have somewhat odd um, times for their shop, but they were so wonderful to work with, so helpful. She sent me so much helpful information on just how to stitch these two pieces together. Um, and if Halloween isn't your thing, I mean, there are a lot of other Judith Kirby designs, Victorian houses that you could choose from and that they would be able to help you get. I really like this one for some reason even though I'm not really a patriotic stitcher, but I do like that one. So, again, Stitch in Time in Saginaw, Michigan um, is where you can get these uh, Judith Kirby designs. eBay will sell them, but they're very expensive. These were, I want to say, less than $15 a piece uh, through Stitching Time. Like, they were basically the price you would accept to pay for a chart. So, Okay, next up, um, I have a couple Glendon places. This is called Ornaments All Around. And I just really, really like it. It's such a unique piece. Um, and so you can see these are all different Christmas ornaments in a circle. Um, these all around ones, so this is the regular floss list, right? This is all the Krynex called for, and this is all the Mill Hill beads. So there are a lot of Krynex and a lot of beads called for, but that's what makes them so special and sparkly. So I'm excited to work on that at some point. And then I have a similar one. Um, it's called Eggs All Around by Glendon Place. And it's the same thing. It, it's Krynex, Mill Hill beads, lots and lots and lots. And this is what it will look like. So I think that will be just gorgeous. Um, this is a little freebie I got from Lindy Stitches. Um, I think it's super cute. So I'd like to stitch that, a little turtle. I recently got this one, Cabin Sweet Cabin. This is by Lisa, designs by Lisa. Cabin Sweet Cabin. I am doing, my father built a shed in his backyard, and so I'm going to do a little shed, sweet shed design, and I'm going to incorporate some of this design in there. Um, and I also have a picture of the actual shed that I put in um, Pick2Pat, which is a free online um, generator where you can put in a picture, and then it will make a cross stitch pattern for you. I got this one recently. This is by the Scarlet House. It's Seeking Refuge. I've loved this one since it came out at market this year. Um, the sentiment says, when the world seems to be out of control, I find a way to nurture my soul. Seeking refuge with needle and thread, the angst and anxiety no longer I dread. I think it's just perfect for 2020. Part of me wishes I would have started it, you know, earlier in 2020, but that's no problem. So this is going to be my um, ode to 2020 piece. Um, so 
because really cross stitching has helped me through this year. Um, my friend Lynette sent me a couple of really sweet pieces. This one is at Blackbird Designs called She Sights a Bird. Do you see the kitty cat right there? I think that's so cute. And she's making friends with the birds. So that's really sweet. And then this is a design by Lynette Peters. Um, and it's called Carolyn and Her Cats. And it will be on her um, Etsy page. And I'll tell you more in a regular floss tube when it's available on her Etsy page. But she's going to have different centers um, that you can incorporate in there if you want. But I love this little piece. And I've never had a cross stitch pattern named after me before. So I'm excited. Okay, so what I'm going to do... That's all kind of the loose patterns and projects I have. So I'm going to clear off my area and then I'm going to go through this folder and that's what I have. So I will be okay, right Okay, I am back. So I have my folder here and this folder is full. I do have additional of these magazine holders. I just, I put them in storage when my house was on the market. So I just have to dig them out of some box later after I move. But first up, this is Frosty Forest. Country Cottage Needleworks. I have the button in there as well. I This is the only one I have. I think this is the eighth one. Um, and I'll probably be giving this away because I don't think I'm going to actually do this series. I have so many other series that I'm going to be doing. So that one I'll probably be giving away in an upcoming Floss Do video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. This next one is a Mirabilia. It's called the Christmas Elf Fairy. Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches sent me this. She just finished it uh, fairly recently, so you might want to check out her floss tube and see it. She left off the, the wings, um, which I will probably do as well. I think she's so sweet. I just love her so much. So we have that one. Then I have um, several lavender and laces. Um, we'll be coming up to some more later. But this one is called um, Winter Rose, which I love. I think it's so pretty. Um, Sitchy Mommy, Sarah, is working on this. Um, and I think it's so pretty. I got this off of a D-Stash page. I think. Maybe not. I also got Nantucket Rose. I might have gotten these from stores, actually. These are definitely not used, so. Which I love. And again, Sitchy Mommy's working on that. I got... Um, mother's tree so this one is um pam and stuff of just keep stitching have this finished so what it is is so there's a date here the name and it says mother of and then you put the date the name mother of and you go through your family tree like that um, and i think it's fantastic so i would like to do this um at some point this one um my friend Nancy sent me this as a hands-on design. If pumpkin kids could fly. I think this is an exclusive for the Garon um, Bag of the Month Club. And she sent it on to me, uh, which is very generous of her. It says, if pumpkins could fly up in the sky, I'd ride with you and shout out Boo. So cute. Another one from Nancy here is called Halloween March Drum, and this is by Thread and Fabric Legend. And so this is a drum. I love, I love this little scene right there. And she included some fabric in it as well, which is so nice of her. So that I'll stitch at some point. <laughs> Um, this next one is a relatively new one I bought. Um, it's a brand new pattern from Joan Elliott. It's called Christmas Eve Sampler. And if I hadn't been moving this year, I probably would have started this on Christmas Eve. But um, I just think it's really, really cute. Even the letters. I don't normally love alphabets, but they have little candles in them, and I think it's really cute. So I will, I will um, work on that at some point. She wrote me a little note here. Um, this next one was another one somebody sent me. And again, I'm sorry, I don't have the sticky note on it. Um, it's by Trail Creek Farm, and it's called Millennium 2. And I really like it because it's New Year's. This one says, Happy New Year this year. Happy, happy New Year this year, it says. 
So I like that. Yeah, I don't often see New Year pieces. And even this ornament isn't necessarily Christmas specific. So I like that piece. My friend Andrea sent me this cute piece called Educated by Bank Creek. It's a cat with their books. Isn't that cute? So cute. She also sent me this um, All Through the Night Jolly Jack, which I want to do at some point. She finished this one. I bought this one from um, Garon Stitchery. It's a Madame Chantilly Cats in the Rain. And I know Shelia from um, Sunshine Stitchers is working on it, and Nicole from Buckeye Stitcher is working on it. So I just need to get on it and work on it. But it's cats, which I love, and it's rain, which I love, and I live in Portland. So this one is by with a needle, needle and thread. It's called Our Hearts. And we are stitching this um, in February with my friends Robin of Bird's Eye Stitches and Andrea. And it says, your heart and my heart are very old friends. So if you have this and would like to stitch along with us, or if you want to get it. This, so now we're kind of getting into my Kohler design, Kohler classic charts designs. This one, which I bought several of, um, this one is called O Canada. And I was born in Canada. So I plan, so July 1st is Canada Day. So I plan to start this on Canada Day. So I like that. And then I have, she has a series of, uh, Sandy Orton is the designer behind Kohler Classic Charts. And um, she has a, a seasonal series, so I have all the seasons, of course. So this is the winter sampler. Lots of backstitching in this, lots of work, full coverage. These are big. I don't see it. this one in particular is 168 wide by 224 high, but it is full coverage. But I just love kind of the old timey feel. As if winter weren't enough, this is the night before Christmas. It's the same sort of thing, same style, same, you know, close, close to the same stitch count and all that. This is the spring sampler. This is the summer sampler. And this is the autumn sampler. So eventually, I mean, I'm not going to start these. I, I'm tempted to start these really soon, but I know I need to get down, work down some other projects first. Okay, I bought this from Garon Stitchery. It's called Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs. And so it's just all these little pieces that you fit into this box. And I got the box from Hobby Lobby online. So I do have it ready to go um, whenever I get the stitching done. Or started. <laughs> this one I got as a gift, I think within the past year or so. It's called Four Seasons Village. It's by Soda Stitches. Look at the colors in that. I think it's so pretty. This one is one I think somebody sent me, and again, I don't have the name on it, but this is the Drawn Thread Tannenbaum Topiary. Isn't that pretty? This is a really small piece. It's 29 stitches wide by 81 stitches tall. So sweet and, and small. I love it. Robin sent me this one. It's by Tiny Modernist. It's called Easter Cuties. Isn't that cute? They're super cute. I think they'd look cute individually or all in one piece of fabric as well. Robin also sent me this one. It's another Madame Chantilly. And I'll hold it up because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And I don't want to um, do it. I won't do it justice. I just think it's a really sweet. And I'm not sure what the say. Somebody told me what the saying meant. Um, and so I'll have to look it up again to see what the saying is. But. I just love the poppies and the little girl chasing stars, falling stars. Robin also sent me this. It's from Just Nan called Peppermint Snowflake Tree. Isn't that pretty? Never seen anything like that one. Um, Dallas actually sent me this one. This is by Puntini Puntini. 
it's called Books and Cats. A house is not a home without books and cats. I love that. So cute. This one is by Lila Studio, Halloween Quaker. This is actually the first Halloween piece that, one of the first pieces, I guess I should say, that I thought, oh, I really like that for a Halloween piece. And now I'm stitching lots of Halloween. I haven't started this one, of course, uh, but I do really like it. It's so unique and it's not too spooky. I don't like the super, super spooky stuff. Okay, let's do some more Lavender and Lace. Another series, go figure, another seasonal series. No one is surprised. This is um, Celtic Autumn, so I have the Celtic ladies. So this is Lavender and Lace Celtic Autumn. This is Celtic Spring. This is Celtic Summer. Um, this one is Winter, Celtic Winter. And this one is Celtic Christmas. There is a Facebook group um, called L and L Celtic Ladies Conversions, I think. So a lot of people will convert the colors of the dresses and they share those conversions. Um, so if you are interested in doing these or working on these, I would recommend joining that Facebook group um, because it's fantastic and they're so talented. Okay, so Susan sent me this one a while ago, a long while ago. This little little house needleworks, Cardinal Winter. Isn't that sweet? I just think it's such a sweet little piece. And then Andrea sent me this. It's called Christmas in the Country. It's another little house needleworks. Another sweet little ornament. This one I got um, from Market this year. This is called Bunny and Bee. It's a small Teresa Cogat. Look at the stitch count. It's 63 by 36. It shouldn't take long. I don't know why I haven't done that one yet. But I have it. This is fun for me to kind of see what I have, you know, already in my stash. So this is by the Bay, by the Bay Needle Art Halloween Cove. Gary of Sunshine Stitchers recently finished this one. Um, and there's a Winter Cove, too, and there might be other seasons as well. I think I do want the Winter Cove one, too. This is um, by Tiny Modernist. This was another market release this year called Folk Art Sampler, and I just think she's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I've never seen anybody work on that one, so I might have to work on that one. This is another By the Bay Needle Art Think Spring. I love this. I just love the colors and just the whimsy of it. I love the frame they used actually too. Um, and I always crave kind of like bright colors when it comes to spring. This one is called the Blackberry Rabbit and it's called the Visitor. This is another market release. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stitch this one or not. I'm debating on this one. It's pretty, I like it. I'm just unsure, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This one is called, is by Annie B's Folk Art, and it's called Be Kind and True. Be Kind and True. It's just a small, 85 wide by 78 high. And I have a couple of Mirabilia's here. This is called uh, Winter White Santa. I've had this one for a couple years as well, but haven't started it. I think he's just gorgeous. I have a couple other Mirabilia I'm working on now, but I should pull these out. And then this one is called the Snow Queen. I think she's beautiful too. I've had her for a while as well. This is one that um, Robin sent me by Tiny Modernist, and it's called Happy Easter. Um, Easter or Easter Ruth, I guess it's called. Um, Robin finished this um, this past spring, so you can check check it out um, on her. YouTube channel, Bird's Eye Stitches. If you want to see that complete. Okay. So this one is a Jardin Privé, and I won this from Stitching with the Housewives. So it's Patchwork a la Neige, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not, I, I'm so sorry, I'm not great at pronouncing, but it's just lots of little snowmen, and I think it's really cute. This one is another By the Bay Needle Art Blue Hawaiian Garden. I bought this one. Again, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to stitch it, but I'm going to hold on to it and see. Um, somebody asked me last night how I store my 
charts. I don't have, with as organized as I am, I don't have a good storage system. Really, I put them in here in just random order. Like, basically, the newest ones go in the front. Um, once I move, I'm going to kind of redo my chart storage. And I'll share that with you um, once I get into my house house and get my new craft room set up and all that. Okay, Susan sent me this, and it's by Not Forgotten Farm, and it's called Autism Spring. I think that bunny is so cute. So cute. This one Kelly sent to me, and it's by Petal Pusher. It's called Spring Beauty. Look at those clouds. I love those clouds. This is um, a card. Of course, I didn't write down who sent it to me. It's a Hands Across the Sea sampler. Oh, it's from Susan. Susan sent it to me. And so there's a portion. I'm trying to look what part of the card. Well, this is what it looks like, and they have a mini chart on the back of it. So it's like one section. It looks like it might be this section up here, more or less. So. That's on the back of that. This one is by Sarah. Um, it's a winter it's Inverno, but it's winter. And I just love that scene. And it comes with this little um, fence light post button. And of course I have not started. This is a big one too. It's 280 wide by 262 high. Not full coverage, but I think this looks deceiving. It looks like it's itty bitty, but it's not. This is one my friend Anne sent me for my birthday this year. It's Lizzie Kate Friendship. And it says, friends make life a little sweeter. Friends listen with the heart. Very sweet. This one um, my friend Andrea sent me. It's by Little House Needleworks. It's called Winter Wonderland. Isn't that pretty? I just love the little scene. Andrea sent me this um, by the little stitcher called Magic Christmas Eve. Nothing is more magic than a snowy Christmas Eve, and I love this one. I got, a, I got some stitching to do, everyone. Elizabeth sent me this one a while ago, and it's called Oh Christmas Tree. It's by All Through the Night. Um, and I love this. You can do so many different color combinations with this one, or you can do it as called for and then throw in splashes of gold or red or whatever you want it but there's a lot you can do with this and I think it's really really neat okay this one is a Madame Lafitte and it's the English translation is on the ice and it comes with a little charm these are mitten charms and I just love I'll probably leave off the words um but I just think it's such a sweet piece this is a long dog I have called Plate of Fancy. I have not started this one. I love this, the colors in this one, but I haven't started it yet because I have two other long dogs going. So I'll hold off on this one. This is from Luminous Fiber Arts, um, Misty Purcell. And I got um, these next several on her Etsy shop, I think it was. This is called A Cardinal's Carol. That's super sweet. This one is called A Robin's Discovery. It's a cute spring piece, and, it, and she has a floss pack, which I got as well. This one is called Snow Mini Friends, also by Luminous Fiber Arts, and again, I got the floss pack, but this is what it looks like. A little snowman, and look at the little kitty cat. This one is um, Jan Hicks, Heal Through the Journey. You can get Jans. I have some other Jans, but I didn't print them out. But um, you can get this one on um, Jans website, madforyarn.com. I think this is a very appropriate one for 2020. And then I also have her spring one, Spring Flourish. which And she has all four seasons, and you can get this on her website. This one is called is by Stitches Through the Years. It's called Magic of Winter. I think it's so pretty. I just love that little house and I just love that little scene. This one um, Kelly sent me. 
It's by Little Dove Designs. It's called Friendship Sampler. It says, side by side or miles apart, good friends are always close to your heart. It's so sweet. This one, um, Linda sent me. Um, it's by Plum Street Samplers. It's called Harvest Delivery. She sent me a while ago. I think maybe a couple years ago. Or, no, maybe a year ago. But I just love, look how majestic this horse is. I love it. Um, this one my parents got me a couple of Christmases ago. It's by the Prairie Schooler. It's called Button Up. I know Kim from um, Stitch and Stuff is working on this. Um, some people make these into ornaments, which I think is cute as well. So when I see Kim's, I, I, I am tempted to start it. I don't know why I haven't. I like it a lot. So, um, And then I have a couple of Hayde printed out or um just the 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 front page printed out I have other hades um but like I said I'm not I haven't printed off the the pdf so this is a freebie um it was a freebie a while ago somebody told me last night it's still a freebie for Christmas this year I don't know if it's still available or not since Christmas is over but hade has freebie a freebie section so you can go on there and look this one is called um old saint nick and he just has the kindest face. This one is called, is an ornament. It's called the Enchanted Christmas. It's a Hade. That's so pretty. And then this one is probably one of my favorites. This is called Cardinal Cottage. I just love how dense it is. It's a big one. 525 by 700. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have another hate in here somewhere. Well, we'll get to it when we get to it. This is from Lucy Heat and Cross Stitch Designs. This is called Christmas Wreath. And this is just a cute little, cute little one. I'm not sure if I'll stitch this anymore. I've had it for a while. Um, and it's not super my style anymore, but we'll see. Hold on to it. some random papers in here as well so um this is another lucy heaton designs called winter robins winter robins i think that's really pretty this one um i bought on etsy it doesn't really have a name and it's by sasha tereshiva if you want to know more information, I can look. Let me know. I can look through my Etsy um, history and, and see if I can find it for you. This one is from a magazine, and of course, I don't know if I have the magazine. I printed out my. It's just cross stitch gold, but I don't know what year. Um, this is Cottage by the Sea, I think. Um, I had it kitted up, ready to start, and then I de-kitted it. That's why it's in here. So this is just my working copy. I have, um, so Stitchy Mommy, you know, I'm working on her temperature tree, but um, she also has other temperature ones, and one of them is the flower garden, so I have this one, where um, she has it divided by each month, and then each petal on the flower is represents a day, so you can create a flower garden. Here's the other heaven and earth design that I was looking for. This is Super Size Tree of Life Ruby, artwork by William Morris. Um, this is insanely big. It looks like a tapestry. Do you see this this design size? 792 wide by 999 high. I love it. I love the way it looks. I don't know if I'll ever stitch it. And if I start it, I don't know that I'll ever finish it. I've seen people. There's a Facebook group just for this particular design. And I have seen people finish it. And it's gorgeous. Okay. What do we have left here? Some of these got out of order, I think. Last night. Okay, so I think this is everything. Okay, so I had um, a bunch of. This year for Jolly July, I was going to start 24 ornaments. 
got way overwhelmed. I started 12 instead, which was overwhelming enough. So I'm glad I didn't do 24, but I did have um, them all printed out. So I will show those to you. These are just the ones that I was going to start for Jolly July. So they're kind of top of my, um, hey, maybe I'll start these sooner rather than later kit. But um, this first one is uh, one that I won from um, Country Stitchers right when I joined them. I won it right away. Um, this is by The Heart's Content, and it's the 2000 Annual Ornament, and I just love this lamppost so much. So I do want to stitch this, and then I can pass it along. This one is from Christmas Ornament Magazine, the Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Magazine of 2019. It's by Swalik Stitchery, and it's called Perfect Stockings. It says Glad Tidings. And this is just a black and white copy, but you can picture how cute that would be. And I'm holding it low because the chart is right below it. But I love this little kitty right there. This one is by Cross Stitch Sanctuary uh, from Christmas Ornament, just Cross Stitch Magazine 2018, and it's called Let It Snow Man. Let It Snow Man. There you go. I think he's cute. Like this one, too. I mean, I like them all, right? Because that's why they're printed. Um, this one is from Punochka. Um, it's called Christmas Bullfinch, and it is from the Ornament Issue 2019. I think he's super cute. I have my little shopping list up here. <laughs> this one is by Snowflake Stitchery. It's called Fair Isle Ornament, and it is from the 2018 Christmas Ornament Issue. Isn't that pretty? I think it's such a pretty one. This one is by Brooks Books, and it's called The Angel of Generosity. This one was published in the 2018 issue of Christmas Ornament Magazine. I think it's really sweet. It is stitched on perforated paper, and then you, like, cut out the stockings here and the cat, so it kind of makes gives it a little bit of dimension. This next one is called is by Sheila Kelly called Christmas Night. It's from the 2018 Christmas Ornament issue. And it's just this really small, hopefully you can see that. That's all oh, I I just love that little cabin scene. This one is from the December 2018 Just Cross Stitch issue. So not the ornament, but just the regular December issue. And it's called Happy Christmas Buck. And I love him so much. I'm excited to start on him. Um, and then we're down to the last two, I think. Um, so this one I got from Lollipop Stitches on, on Etsy. This is a March 2020 fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Society in the UK. And it's called My Friend. And it just says, Welcome, friend. Glad you came. Hope so much you'll feel the same. And I thought this would be really cute in the guest room and maybe replace um, the birds here with the Wi-Fi password and stitch that in there. So I thought that might be cute. And the last one I have just as sentimental reasons. Um, this was one of my grandmother's bread cloths um, booklets. And this is the bread cloth we had in my house growing up that my grandmother stitched for us. So I don't plan on stitching anything from it necessarily, but I want to hold on to this because it reminds me of my grandmother and it reminds me of the bread cloth that we had. Um, so I think that's it. The other papers I have in here are like my papers from um, Harbor Haven. The charts are all in here still because I haven't cleaned that up and stuff. So those are my charts. That's my chart dive. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know again um, if you've gotten able to add anything to your wish list or if you're going to buy anything. I would love to know that. And stay tuned because later this week I will be doing a planning video and we'll talk about our plans for 2021. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.